Egyptian cleric issues fatwa on bodybuilding. On October 11th, Abdullah Rushdi, an Egyptian Muslim preacher, issued a fatwa or religious ruling against bodybuilding and bodybuilding competitions. Rushdi explained that bodybuilders show intimate parts, which should be covered according to Islamic law. Um, specific <laughs> if you had to guess what he didn't like about the bodybuilding, what would you guess, Armin? Uh, the fact that men are not covering the parts of their body that they should be covering, and this is making women uh, feeling things, and that's haram. Yes, they have to. Or, yeah, he's telling them to cover their aura. Exactly. No, actually, this makes <laughs> literally. Sense. No, this makes this makes makes absolute sense to me because a lot of people assume that um, hijab is a woman thing in islam i mean it, i mean the cause the thing that is specifically hijab is a woman thing but the idea of covering yourself they think it's a woman thing it's not a woman thing the woman has to cover her her and the man doesn't but that doesn't mean that the men don't have to cover men also have to cover yeah this is equality this well, is pro this is like yeah go on well so let me finish the rest of the summary um Rushdie's fatwa order came after famed Egyptian bodybuilder Mah Mamdoun uh, Elisibe won the Mr. Olympia 2021 championship in Orlando, Florida. Uh, LC LCBA, uh, known popularly in Egypt as Big Ramy, <laughs> won the competition for the second time in a row. Rushdie later clarified his views, stating that he is not saying no to sports, but that the rule of Sharia ought to be respected when doing so. Rushdie also claimed, called for women to not participate in any competition that requires them to show parts of their bodies. Ahmed Karima, a comparative jurisprudence professor at the renowned Al-Azhar University, rejected the fatwa, saying that the rules Rushdie used only applied to worship. The, what, who's talking about this? First of all, this is so Islamically true that you don't even need a fatwa for it. This is This is already Islam. This is already... You can't just like show your body like that in Islam. Like you don't need clarification on this. And I'm surprised that people are like thinking like, oh, this is like this is inaccurate. What do you mean this is inaccurate? You think like you think women have to cover their body and that rule does not apply to men at all? Like I know that they don't have to cover their hair, but do these other Muslims who are complaining, they think like in Islam, there's no coverage for men's body. I'm actually more offended by these Muslims who are re um, who are rejecting the preachers. Well, we can get like, into why. Why go on? So, um, uh, so this uh, professor at Al Azhar um, explained that. Uh, he rejected his ruling saying God did not make men's bodies a means to sedition. Saying, further and saying, uh, farmers raise their pants above their knees while watering the land or feeding the animals. This happens to be common in some industries as well. Sportswear, he said, is a custom and not a form of worship, so men will not end up in hell for wearing them. Custom is the support for Sharia law. And then another Egyptian writer said, Rushdie is so narrow-minded that he chose to speak about Aura and ignore the fact that Big Ramy won a world championship, as well as he left out the importance of sports in a healthy body. Well, these people are, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed that I'm defending a Muslim preacher. Why would <laughs> these logic not have, what, I mean, their arguments that they're using for why would apply to women. They're like, oh, why is he not talking about the importance of a healthy body? Like, okay, then let's apply that argument to women. Why? Like, imagine if you show a woman, a healthy woman's body in a bikini, and then as 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 Muslims, then you would go and say like, oh, you shouldn't be showing that. That's like haram. I was like, okay, well, you just said just a minute ago that why are you not celebrating her healthy body and and sports and stuff? 
right? So would they would they say the same thing about women? I, this preacher is just this preacher is just being consistent. I'm I'm, I'm defending the preacher. The preacher has just been consistent, and these people are not saying it. Also, what was that other guy that you mentioned? He said that men's body are not uh, a means to sedition. Used. Oh, wait. How do you? God, wait. God did not make men's bodies a means to sedition. Meaning, like, what does that mean? Corruption and temptation. Oh my God! You have no idea. You're poor, poor fellow. Maybe your body is not. A... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your. <laughs> oh, this person does not know women. These are the, these people think women don't get horny. These people think these people think they they experience horniness and they assume it's a man men man thing. Like they don't they don't understand that women have the capacity of looking at a man's body and getting horny about it. Like they don't think well, that's a thing. Yeah, I think you're right. And what's hilarious is that so in one of his videos, Rushdie goes on to explain that for men, their hour or their intimate parts is from the navel to the knees. Whereas, and then he says for women, according to him, and there are many different interpretations of this, but for women, it was everything except their eyes and hands. Wait, they're saying the aura, the aura of men that needs to be protected is just from the navel to the knees? Yes, he said, ladies, look away from those oh. thighs. No oh, thighs. They, he saw okay, the thighs that, of those bodybuilders and he said, ladies, lower your gaze. Actually, okay, so actually he is, I think it's interesting because I was going to show you research where which part of the men's body women find the most attractive. And it is actually the V, the number one is the V around the crotch thing, if you're fit, I, I mean, okay? So technically they're correct about the main part that they need to cover, but yeah. the arms and the abs, are, no, the chest and the arms are, I think the chest is the, the chest is a close second. So given re research shows that a healthy, healthy arms and healthy, like muscular arms and muscular chest is also attractive to women. So why would it, why would they, why would men only have to cover the most important part and women have to cover everywhere? It's, it's bull crap. We know that women are attracted into different other parts of the body as well. So this is nonsense, but go on. What were you going to say? Well, it's interesting because I heard that after the face, the body part that women are most attracted to or look for attraction yeah. in is hands, men's hands. No, that's not what the study. Hmm. I don't know if I could find it. No, it's I need not. the the ladies in the chat to tell me how heartbroken they are about. You're not allowed to see the bodybuilder's thighs anymore, guys. <laughs> no, this okay. I, by by the way, um, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. Um, well, I, let me just say it. The person who said that this is about health. Okay, like we should be celebrating people's health. Bodybuilding is not healthy. <laughs> okay, so um, sports in general, like most sports are not healthy. Uh, yeah, I can't find that research. But in, in, in general, like this is not a bodybuilding is not about health. Like people don't, people think being fit and being able to compete in bodybuilding is the same thing. Bodybuilding takes you to levels way beyond what is healthy. It's not at all healthy. Yeah. Again, I'm not saying people shouldn't be doing it. Okay. If that's your passion, if you want to compete, compete, but the level of so-called fitness or mu muscle building and, you know, and shreddedness that is required to be even to even enter these competitions is way past what is healthy to your body. Yeah. I think people don't. What's I, yeah. interesting is that this preacher, um rushdie is very controversial in egypt like there's been a lot of people who have sent me his stuff before about how he's, he's had like really problematic statements about women and blaming them for bad things that happened to them and um and just a lot of other really controversial statements and he's gotten quite a following from this and what's so funny to me is that Al Azhar, which is like one of the preeminent like Sunni schools of Islamic thought, 
um, has made an effort to distance themselves from him. They're saying like, he's just a student we once had, like he doesn't represent us. Like this isn't one of our rulings and have really tried to dismiss him and um, reject what he says because he is so controversial and gives such a bad look to all the different things that he does. Um, and this was another instance of them coming out and being like, uh, he doesn't speak for us. <laughs> Go body build. Don't take this achievement away from Big Rammy. Yeah. I just want to, by, by the way, guys, I'm not hating on bodybuilders when I say it's not healthy. Bodybuilders themselves will tell you what they're doing is not healthy. Like, this is like, they know this. They, they're they making a sacrifice for their sport. Okay. So, this is not like a controversial, I'm not, this is not a controversial take. Um, all right. Andrew is saying, I, I come late to this discussion, but could this also be, an anti-gay thing how no 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 bodybuilding they're, they're, isn't gay well maybe maybe andrew is assuming that this preacher just saw it and he was like maybe attracted to it and he was like this needs to stop this is turning me on oh or meaning <laughs> meaning because it could turn on men who are gay that's what andrew means yeah i don't i don't think so, yeah i think it is about them wearing the little speedos the little bikinis i think it's about no i think it's it's actually very as it's a straight thing i think the all the arguments about this is attractive to women um yeah so this could yeah this could corrupt women's minds and stuff like that hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.